Good morning, everyone. How's it going? Uh, welcome to vlog number eight. So last night, i.e. probably a month ago from when you're watching this now, uh, we released vlog episode seven. I appreciate everybody with all the support and everything about us taking it away from the weekly vlog, making it a monthly vlog now. That way we just keep it fresh and exciting and we're not trying to we're not making a vlog just to make a vlog. You know, we're only going to document fun and exciting stuff. So. Okay. You guys see that car right there? With the Tennessee tags? So, uh, I'm here at Pilots getting gas in my truck on my way home. That guy is from Atlanta. And I'm walking in to use the bathroom. He's like, Matt? I'm like, and he was like, oh my God, it's nice to meet you. I just bought a bumper sticker. And um, what's crazy is I was like, yeah, so you live around here? He's like, no, I live in Atlanta. We were on our way to Tampa to visit his girlfriend's family. And I'm like, dude, what are the odds that you run into me? It was the weirdest thing, coolest thing ever. Man, that's just insane. Like, what are the odds of that? So that's so cool. Um, little update on what happened today. So, on like, I feel like a celebrity sometimes, y'all. And I don't like feel like celebrity like in the bad way. But let me tell you, I get like these butterflies in my stomach when somebody recognizes me, and they're like, "Oh, Matt, I love your videos." And I'm like, "Well, thank you so much. I mean, it really does mean a lot to me." I looked in my bag and I didn't have any keychains to give him, so I felt bad. But I did give him a bumper sticker, even though he bought one. I gave him another bumper sticker because I normally carry some stickers and keychains with me. But man, is that awesome! I absolutely love that. So, little status update: um, Andrea did not make it down to Tampa today, so she was coming down I-75 and she was stuck in traffic for two hours it was not moving she, she was going zero miles an hour um and there was a really bad accident on i-75 so i had uh my friend tom bennett who is one of the motorhome specialists at the tampa store help out with the uh rebel video that you know just came out tonight and we got that playing right here um and i appreciate the help from tom bennett so now uh so now i'm almost home and tomorrow we got a busy day so what i'm doing is i'm flying to maryland and renting a car will's meeting me at the airport and then oh and then me and will we are driving to ohio to meet with a famous youtuber uh i'll tell you guys about that a little later so we're pulling up to my house and I just want to show everybody on what Andrea, how she decorated the house. So here's her house. Andrea, she has the projector right there, putting the snowflakes on the house. She has the bushes with the stars, has the candy canes. She has the bushes over here. And then this right here is a little camper that we got from Walmart. I think she did a fantastic job. What do you guys think? Hi, Mayun. Hi, Mayun. I already did. Oh. Hey, Andrea. You're on the vlog. I'm so, I'm so sorry for what happened to you today. We love you and we missed you today. I'm so tired. You guys keep me up at 4:30 in the morning. I've been doing you this know, day. stop waking her up so early. I'm so tired. But listen, we just looked at the house and you did a fantastic job. And we love you. Thank you. We Thank love you, you too, you. We looked at the house on Club Art Deco, but this is for the vlog. Oh, okay. Hmm, good, good girl, yeah. So Andre is getting me all set up. Oop, not this sticker. We're about to mail out all, well, I'm about to write up. Uh, we're, yeah, blah, blah, blah. we're about to mail out all the Eunice stickers. What do you have to say to Andrea? Thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate it. And I'm sure all the little fur babies 
at the animal shelter will also appreciate it. Yep. And uh, tomorrow we'll be donating the money, but we'll be doing it online. Oh, wow. So it is really cold today in Florida. And this was the only hat that they had in the gas station. And my head's too big for it. I have to flip it down. And then not only that, about a half hour ago, I put hair gel on my hair. So I'm probably going to have hat head on the airplane. So I just got to the airport and check out this plane. It's about to take off. Look at that. There's, here we go now. That's so cool, man. Have you guys ever just thought about what the heck's going on with an airplane? It's absolutely crazy how big and heavy they are and how they just do their things. It's insane. Hi, Jen. Hi. Gosh, you're close. Hi, Tucker. You look like you're like going to Colorado to go skiing or something. I am a skier. God, it's not that cold. It's really, really freezing. I so, just got a little t-shirt and jacket. And yeah. You're the ski hat. So it's supposed to snow tomorrow in Ohio. And so I tell General RV to get an SUV. And then they got us an SUV. But it is, well, ha, ha. Wait till you see Will in the front see this SUV. I know. Here's why. Listen, General RV, Bob, <laughs> the boss. Listen, Will is six foot three. If you want the tall test, we don't want to roll in an SUV because we want to. We do it because we have to. <laughs> This, do you like see this? This is small. This is small for, for him. Me. Yeah. This is my. Car. If me and Jen were going on a trip, yeah, we'd be finding a fucking we can get a, a Prius. A Prius in a Honda Fit, right? <laughs> but Will, it's just we 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 just we need the Yukon. Will needs a um, a, a Hummer. <laughs> he needs a Hummer. <laughs> just a big guy, Will. Truck. Yeah. No, no, no. On, honestly, I would have been fine with a pickup truck. Like an F one fifty gets the job done. So. Right. Except for when the bed's on the anyway. So. Just so everybody knows, I just want this on camera. I could have flown straight, actually, I could have flown first class to Ohio. Uh huh. But for the same money, I flew here and rented a car just so Will doesn't need to drive to Ohio by himself. Just for the record, how many times did I say you didn't have to do yeah. that, Chad? <laughs> but I did it. You're like, it's okay, just fly right into Ohio. No. No. <laughs> I'll keep you company. Cool. We'll have fun. So All right. You guys gonna stop at that weird Pizza Hut again? No. 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 That was trash. All right. I wouldn't feed that to Tucker. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tucker. You miss you now? Yeah, you'll be together soon. Good boy. Good boy for mommy. How are you there, Will? Good. I'll be okay. Is the seat all the way back? Yeah. At least we got that stone good seat in on the back. Oh yeah. We were, we were honestly debating a minivan right. just to be more comfortable, but we no, but we needed a four wheel drive. This doesn't have four wheel drive either. It doesn't? No. Why'd we get an SUV then? We should have got a minivan. You want to go back? You want to talk to her? No, it's too late. Is it? Did you miss me well? Yeah. What's new? Nothing really. Nothing at all. I haven't seen you in what, three weeks? Yeah. Seemed like just 
we last weekend at, though, right? I put an offer in today on a house. Really? Which one? To flip the house to flip. Did you really? Yeah. Or are you saying that for the vlog? No, I really did. Oh, okay. How much? Um, I offered 100000 In Calvert County? Where are you finding these for that price? Down south. Is it, what's it worth? Like after repair? Yeah. 289 probably. But you're gonna have to probably put what? 100 in it? 60, 70. That's not Plus bad. Plus closing costs. That's not bad. Yeah. Mm. Are you gonna ask me how the house went that I went to look at the other day? <laughs> yeah, we go. To live in and not flip? <laughs> To raise your family? Yeah, to raise my family in. <laughs> How'd it go? So, I was my own worst. So, let me feel you. Andrea and I, we're moving to Wesley Chapel, which is 30 minutes away from our Tampa store. And it is uh, about an hour south of our Ocala store. And uh, I have two I have two offices. Ooh, not offices, but cubicles. And I'll be spending time at both stores. And so the Wesley Chapel area just checks off all the right boxes. And we found a house that was perfect, but I was my own worst enemy. And I lowballed the offer, right? By like, by $25,000, right? And, and here's the deal, that they, they were asking too much, right? And it needed a new roof. But here's what really, here's why, how I was my own enemy, right? I'm all like, oh, I'm a salesman, so I'm not gonna overpay on a house. I'm not getting emotional about it. <laughs> well, I got emotional about it. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, well, so what happened is somebody else made a full ask offer and what my agent told me after the fact was that he said, you wanna know what really sucks? He said, the people who made the full ask offer they're probably going to end up paying around the same price that we would have paid. They're just gonna negotiate after the inspector. And I'm like, well, dang, why didn't we do that? He was like, dude, I told you that was a plan. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I wasn't listening, so. You do that a lot, don't you? What's that? You don't listen, you think you know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Know-it-all. So we're driving, we're up in the mountains of Maryland, and we won't be able to see it on camera, but we are starting to see some of the snow flurries. And if you guys don't know, I hate snow. So Will, yes. why are we going to Ohio December 1st, and while there in is- In the middle of a snowstorm? In the middle of a snowstorm. For a pretty big video. In fact, you flew all the way from Florida to Maryland. Yep. Now we have a six hour drive from Maryland to Ohio. For one video. For one video. For it's pretty one, important. For it's one 22 deal. minute video. So let me fill you guys in. Cause by the time you're watching this, you've probably already seen this video. Um, this little YouTube channel called Less Junk More Journey. <laughs> LJ, greater than MJ. Less Junk More Journey. They got a brand new Grand design full body paint. By the time you're watching this video, we'll have the video that we're on our way to make. I mean, that's some future stuff, huh? It is, yeah. We're on our way to make the video, so we haven't made it yet. But the, by the time you're watching this, we've already made that video. Yep. That's fourth dimensional stuff. Bing! You'll see it right here. Um, they just picked up, or they're going to pick up, their Grand Design Solitude. And we're gonna be the first people, probably the only people, to one meet them which is cool right and we're gonna do a review and in that review will yeah it was funny because uh the people at general rv they were all like well maybe you shouldn't do the three things you like about it and the three things you don't like about it he was like we don't want to offend them and i'm like no 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 i said listen i said boss i said let's get on a facetime with less junk and more journey and if they say, oh, hey, Matt, we love your videos, right? we continue with it. If they say, oh, hey, Matt, I've never heard of you before, yeah, maybe let's not do it. So we, we went on a, a Skype with Nathan, and, um, and he was like, oh, yeah, hey, Matt, love your videos. And I looked at my boss, and I'm like, 
We're doing it, guys. We're doing the three <laughs> things we like and the three things we don't like. So, and it's not personal, and it's not like three things I don't like about less junk and more journey. Right. It's the RV they picked. Yeah. How so cold when we is got it? in the car and you thought it was cold. It was cold. It was, I think, 48 degrees. Uh huh. Right now it's 20. Oh, it just went from 21 to 22 degrees. No, it's not. Really? Yeah, you can see right there. Oh my God. What did we do? Pay attention to the road, Will. I am. Don't do that, Will. Is it really 22 degrees, yes. though? You can't see? No, I can see. Oh my God. Less junk, more journey. You guys better be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, dude? Should we turn around? No, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. We're driving. It's cold, but the snow has lightened up. Oh, okay. Which is good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes for a more pleasant driving experience. So I mean, if we were in an actual SUV, I know, right? I'd, I, I'd be fine, but. Yep. Hey, everyone. So we got lost in Ohio during the snow, and right now we're on a really good road. It's still a shitty road. Whoops. Couldn't say that. It was still a bad road, but we're on a lot better road than what we were. Here's how bad it was. When I don't pull out the camera to show you what situation that we're in, that's when you know it's bad. We were on some, we were in Salem, Ohio. That's right. Home of the witchcrafts, right? And you, you see that driveway? Like that's what everything looked like. We were surrounded by farms. There, you see, you see the road right here? There was that much snow on the road. It was untreated. We made a wrong turn. And I'm like, oh, okay, there's a little town up here. And it was called Salem, Ohio. And I'm like, well, that's great. So we were, we were having a live stream tonight. It's supposed to be at eight o'clock. We have since rescheduled it to 8.30. And um, again, we'll link that live stream right up here. Bing, for everybody to watch. Well. Remember those roads I told you we didn't record on? They looked a little like this. <laughs> Will? Yeah. Where are we? No clue. This is frick, frickin' scary, bro. Yeah. O-H. I-O. <laughs> I did a really bad parking job. Oh wow, Will, you're well, that guy. I was following those. Yep. Now nah, repark it. Here, but give me the bag. Get, get the bag out. Dang it. I don't know how to open it. So we just got done filming our very first Newmar video. And Will, how did it go? It went okay. I don't think it went that well. At the beginning was a little rough. I think towards the end it got a lot better though. Yeah. Um. What are you looking for? Um, we gotta find that flagpole. To see oh, it was the second one. There. If you guys didn't see last vlog, vlog number seven, uh, well, you have to have watched the whole thing. We found one of those rocks at a dog park that people are supposed to find and share and everything. And uh, I hid it here. And I said, first person to find it, Wins a hundred dollars cash. I thought you said a gift card. Well, yeah, 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 same thing. Amazon gift card. <laughs> this is so exciting. You ready? Yep. Oh, yep. It's still there. Still there. <laughs> Here it is, y'all. It says send nudes. You know, we should write it on the back. We should write on a hashtag Matt's RV Reviews so that nah. somebody else finds it. Nobody will find it. All right. So make sure somebody comes up and find it. That's a hundred dollars Amazon gift card. <sighs> so now I think Nate and Marissa are all done their walkthrough. Some of the grand design marketing experts are here and um, they're working with them. So. 
we're gonna make some collaboration videos with them and we're just gonna have some fun doing it ain't that right well that's right hopefully it warms up some i know it's cold it's cold i don't have winter clothes neither so today uh, we're gonna be talking about why did we choose the layout for this rv why make the change from open range at all and really if you're looking for an rv especially if you're a family or if you're looking for something with an extra room a bonus room a bunk room what layout would be a good layout for you North Canyon. North Canyon. Okay. Yeah, is it like, what is it, Little Rock? Everybody got mad at us? Yeah. So we're in Little Rock. This is not Little Rock, it's North Little Rock. <laughs> 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 like, I know. Is it the same way here if you say Canton? You're like, it's not Canton. I don't know. I'm not from Ohio. <laughs> Just, uh, we'll say North Canton. All right. So we're in North Canton, Ohio. Marissa is loving the cold weather. <laughs> She's drinking nice and brisk. Uh, you know what I do love, though. So, an additional bonus is if that wasn't enough. Look at all we have with us here. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? <laughs> Matt from Matt's RV Reviews is here with us to. Uh... Is he going to review our RV? <laughs> no, he's the, that's. It's kind of nerve wracking. So, um, Get us a good. He's our entertainment <laughs> slash um, expert opinion. I'm so, your chauffeur today. He's our chauffeur today. <laughs> yep, we're we're going to take a tour for different different types of bunkhouse units yes. for different types of family how different types of people go camping and uh, i'm going to show them all around north canton and general rv and yes we will have a review on their brand new solitude as well oh. <laughs> so, and uh, we're sticking to the rules three things you like and three things you don't like oh no <laughs> oh no all right let's do it let's do it um any other you either like you mean any other thoughts like standout thoughts as far as the yeah bucket yeah sure Okay. So, I mean, so so wait. Do you want me to do like my dislikes? Yeah, let's hear you it. You just throw out whatever you got. Yeah. Okay. Give it, so. Give it to us. Okay. So first thing, first question that I have for you guys. Get me on that camera. Okay. okay. First question I have for you guys is, did you guys order it without balances? Oh, I yeah. did. Okay. Okay. Cool. Because I was about to say, I kind of like that, but I was like, I kind of don't like that. I'm like, because it does kind of look different. And I was like, did they order it with? A, what other customizations did you guys do? Well, technically, so in the plan, long term plan, I'm sure is to do different blinds. And I, I'm not a valance fan because I feel like it takes away space in the area. So like I think it, it opens it up and gives it more space. We took Fun the valance. Right, yeah. Yes, we took the valances off our last RV, and so many people ask me, "Where did you get your?" shades and i'm like that actually came with the rv we just took the balances and i like the openness of it but i can see for some it might be more bare but i think it opens the space up. and it, it actually doesn't look that bad no with, with, this, with, with the chrome with like the silver yeah and you can change these i love the bamboo shades so oh. we might at some point mm -hmm. make it the bamboo so it gives it more homey texture feel so well and anybody can take the balances off it's just we had them requested off from the factory because we don't have the holes to have to patch up after right. the fact and mm -hmm. so you could still take them off if you have them with balances it's not that hard to take them off but yeah you're that's interesting that you notice though <laughs> if anybody would notice yeah no definitely but yeah we get your opinion on the initial feel though when you walk in the balances aren't there i mean what does that Did right they... no it, it just feel like literally what you say more open more and open. bright mm -hmm. i like the light i like the windows um, and for those of you guys who don't know who I might be, my name's Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. And kind of like my whole thing is I, I always give three things I like and three things I don't like about every fifth wheel or every RV out there. And really what I like to do is I like to compare this to other mid bunks um, and figure out it's not necessarily what I like or don't like. It's about here's what I like what Grand Design's doing different with this unit and here's what I don't like with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I had to give you my three, which I can spit off fire rapid fire one i never liked the loft area personally with how i camp um and that's another thing i have to compare it to how i would be using this and the whole loft area i feel like it would be better in my like i don't feel like we would ever use that loft area my wife and i so i would have had like to have a bigger bunk area for one the second thing i wasn't a huge fan of was the size of the tv right here compared to other mid bunk fifth wheels uh, normally they'll have a bigger tv and bigger entertainment center but one of the advantages that we really did like was the fact that it was on a televator and you got another window the one thing that you can't buy in a 
in an RV is natural light. And nobody else is doing that with it. A lot of people are doing the televator, but not with another window. So, uh, it was, can, can you want to say something here? Yeah. I, one of the things I really love that Grand Design actually listened to our feedback on this. Okay. This, this window and this televator was not here. Really? And on the 377. On the, we yeah. yeah. And oh, so when we cool. met with Grand Design and said, we would love to have an extra window for cross breeze and extra light and only have the TV out when it's being used. And they listened and did this. Nobody else is doing that. And that's right. so huge. And, and quite frankly, so I work for General RV and we sell almost every brand, right? And that's the one thing that frustrates me is not a lot of brands listen to customers. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times, a lot of the designers, you know, they're not RVers, right? And so the fact that they actually listen, I mean, that's something that I've pointed out right away. Mm -hmm. And and it's that's awesome. I mean, it sounds so simple just to say, can we have one extra window? But doesn't that make like a huge difference in the RV? Just having one but that's an interesting point about the TV, though. It forces you, you gotta make it, you know, it's a lot of its pros and cons of give and take. I mean, yeah. You have a huge TV that spans out, you know, past here. You, right. Where's it gonna go? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. Our, that's the theme of RVing, though. It's give and take. Yep. And it's less junk and more journey. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And that's, and that's funny. You plug that, that you better than we do, man. <laughs> you pointed out the loft is because that was actually our special request was to have the loft it's put so back funny, in. It's so funny, yeah. Oh, so they, this model, yeah. yeah they this, go yeah. ahead. Sorry, I'll just shut up. <laughs> uh, with, with the new 378, this one, they are not making the loft in it right now, but we had requested that the loft go back in it because we have two kids and wanted a separate living space. And see, that's why <laughs> I absolutely love um, my reviews. And when I first started, the three things I like and three things I don't like, like the whole, the RV industry is very small. And people are like, man, what are you doing? What type of salesman's telling somebody what they don't like about it? <laughs> But again, it's, it's always opinion based, mm -hmm. and and that wouldn't work for the way we camp, but it works for the way you guys camp. Yeah, that's if, so funny. If there's two of you, I could see how you would want the extra headroom. Yep, yep, but for when sure. When we have two extra kids, it gives us two sleeping spaces. Yep, so and like they're space. both smaller kids, so mm -hmm. you know if we had teenagers, and we'll talk about some of the other you know things yeah. too, but like they're both smaller, so the loft works, but. 16 year old, yeah, I don't know, maybe not. And so I'm seeing some, I don't want to call them shortcuts, but some less quality features that this one has. My, my comparison from an S class to a regular solitude, it's like a GMC Sierra SLT to a GMC Sierra Denali. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just yeah. a little bit fancier with the uh, regular solitude. So to wrap it up, we're gonna look at a fifth wheel that I'm pretty sure Nate and Marissa have never seen. This is this is one of the most unique bunk houses I've ever seen on the lot. <laughs> you're not gonna jump or anything, or no, no, are you, are you recorded? <laughs> no, I'm still recording. Uh -huh. There, there we go. <laughs> is that like off of a uh, Mario or something, or so? So how it worked? Okay, so this quiet big guy here, this is Will. <laughs> Will helped me start my show. Well, his wife Jen did. And so it's really funny because like I have a couple like like things that like hook the show, and so she told she said something like, "Why don't you say we're starting in three, two, one?" And I'm like, "No, that's stupid." Well, now that's kind of like my thing. Whenever somebody meets me, they're all like, "We're starting in three, two, one." And so then I asked Jen. I'm like, "Jen, what do I do after one?" She's like, "I don't know. Why don't you jump in the air like a fat kid?" I'm like, "All right, you know." And that's like how it got started. <laughs> Marissa. We've got to start. Do I need to steal that? Yeah, no, you can jump. No, no, it's, it's not. It's, the jump isn't stealing. It's a lifestyle. Uh, it's a lifestyle jump. Yeah. Three, two, one. I should have stretched before that. You ready? We're starting in three, two, one. <laughs> I love it. Cool. So that's your brand new solitude, guys. How do you feel? It still doesn't feel real, for sure. Like, <laughs> uh, usually we come and visit on lots and we have to turn around and leave. So it's cool that we get to come and like drive one home. This is our home. That is so cool. It was so nice cool. meeting you guys. It was nice to meet you. You did such a great job with the, um, the additions that you recommended to Grand Design. It's really like literally, it's the, little, it's the little things that make it special about this uh, RV. Where's the next trip for you guys? Oh, South, Florida, yeah, Florida, 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 Flor
a possibility. Hopefully. Possibility. You know, leave that in the comments below. Let let us know if you want less junk, more journey down at the Tampa RV show. We'd love to hear it. It was so nice meeting you guys. Again, I'm not sure if I said it on this vlog, but I was like fanboying the whole time. <laughs> Nate was all like, I need a battery. I'm like, I got a battery for you to use. <laughs> and uh, it's just such an honor to meet you guys. And what's even better is they are the same people in person that you see on camera. Which, you know, I've, I've met other YouTubers and, you know, they're, they're not always that way. That's so appreciate we appreciate meeting pleasure. you guys. I appreciate Will for coming up and uh, let's, let, let's get Matt Kamowski to buy us dinner now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we ran into some YouTube fans who spotted us at the dealership. They were, they're picking up a magnitude. So we're gonna give them some stuff. Come on. I asked Nate and Marissa if they wanted to put a bumper sticker <laughs> on their fifth wheel. They didn't want to do that for some reason. Yeah. You want to be on the vlog? Sure. Why don't you say something? Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. You're right. It's the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah. <laughs> I got some bumper stickers for you. All right on. And then I got a toilet test keychain for you. <laughs> and a Matt and Andrea keychain for you. Thank you very much. Where'd you come from? Originally from Hawaii. Oh, okay. Oh. And we moved, we relocated to Vegas. So we're in Vegas now. So you live in Vegas? So and you, you travel to Ohio to pick it up? The best price in America. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Angie, from National Indoor RV Center. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know she's out of Vegas, so. So cool. You really came up here from that? Yes. Actually, we picked up this Ford down in Atlanta. Uh-huh. Because my son's friend has a, a, works at a dealership. Yep. They gave him a good trading on his Tacoma. Yep. We picked it up there. We drove up this morning all the way from Atlanta to here. Nice. We get here, so tomorrow morning. You guys rock. That is so cool. Well, you know, thank you so much. And I'm so impressed. America is huge. Being from Hawaii, oh, you yeah. have no idea of the, the vastness of this country. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to see it. Did awesome. you Did you fly to um, Georgia or you drove to Georgia? Oh, we drove all the way. Oh, because you had Georgia. to trade in the... Yeah, we traded in the... Wow. Well. So you're staying here overnight? Yes. Okay, okay. Do you watch Let's Jump More Journey? That YouTube channel? No. Okay, that's the reason why we're up here. Oh, yeah, okay. They, yeah, they just got that solitude. You'll, you'll see that in a couple of weeks okay. on this episode. So when you see Less Jump, More Journey, that's okay. the episode you're in. All right. Thanks. Super. <laughs> <laughs> From Hawaii. Shaka. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you so okay. much. I'm so glad I got to run into you. Thank you. Cool. Well, enjoy. If you need anything, give me a call. I will. Okay. I did email, email you, so I Did I reply? No. Oh. oh. Cut that. Cut, cut that out. No. When did you email me? Uh, last week. Really? Or was it the weekend? I it's okay. Okay. Cool. Well, the main thing nice. is the best price in America. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so thank you. much. Yep, thank absolutely. You much. Thank you. Have thank a good you. one. <laughs> very nice to meet you. Oh. So we were going to record today, but it is so cold up here that we're just not going to. Are we, Will? Yeah, it's too cold. It's too cold. Like literally, I was wearing three jackets and I was like shaking. It was so cold. <laughs> yeah. So Poor now we're quality. so now we're on our way back to Maryland, and then I'm staying at Will and Jen's house. I'm staying at Will and Jen's house tonight. No, but that's so cool, man. The only other people that we need to track down is KYD. That's right. And then we met our Mount Rushmore of you YouTubers. Yeah, Jen would go crazy if we. Yep. Well, not only TV that, TV listen, KYD. if anybody knows KYD, message them right now. We need Will's Tucker, Will and Jen's Tucker, oh. Matt and Andrea's Yuna, and KYD's Golden Retriever all to play together. And you know, this year at Tampa. When this video comes out, it'll be later, but just recently they were in Hershey, PA, too. Really? So they were close. They're close to us. They were in Vermont the same time that me and Jen were in Vermont, but they were in Stowe, and we were in Woodstock. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah. We gotta meet KYD. Everybody, if anybody knows them, call them. And I don't even care about KYD. I just want their dogs to play with our dogs. Jen because, cares about KYD. Jen yeah. is a huge KYD fan. Right, K Jen's the biggest. Jen has a KYD tattoo. Not that far. No. But yes, if anybody knows KYD, we have to meet them. Hopefully they'll be here this year at the Tampa show. And we'll, we'll meet you at like a dog park and all three of our golden retrievers can play together. I don't together. think they're gonna go to Tampa. They're not big into like the RV per se and like touring RVs. They're more into the lifestyle like, but you never know. Well, you're trying to, I'm trying to sell, I'm trying to sell KYD on this opportunity. The three most famous um, golden retrievers in the right. RV industry need to get together. They really do. Yep. And we are taking Tucker to Florida, so. And Yuna's in Florida. There you yeah. go. Two, two of the pieces are there. So. KYD probably doesn't even know who we are, though. They might. They might. They might be like, oh, that guy? Yeah. I'm always waiting for that. I'm waiting That's for that. Yeah. Oh, his fat ass. <laughs> I'm waiting for that person because, like, whenever I meet somebody, it's like, "Oh, hey, Matt, I love your videos." I'm waiting for that person to be like, "Oh, it's you." Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, especially at the dealership. Right. So, yeah, there's this real annoying guy named Matt. I hate his guts. And then I'm like, <laughs> bee, 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 Howdy. <laughs> oh, Tucker. Oh, come here. Tucker! Oh, Jen! You're watching your parents' dog again. Hey! Ta Jen! Your house looks good! Thank you! It's only taken three months for you to finish. I did it all by myself. Really? You're telling me Will didn't help you? I told him not to. He's bad at painting. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Do you want to take us? Oh, show us the table you made. Oh, here. I made this. Did you really? Yeah. That is so impressive. This leg's a little wonky, but... How, how long did it take you to make it? Um, but it? Well, it took me like a long time. I like drug it out. But like, because I've been working on this since like May. Yep. But I mean, really, it would if I did it good, it would probably just take like maybe a couple of weeks. Well, it looks really good. Thank you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good job, Will. Huh? Good job. What? Yep. <laughs> Tucker. Oh. Hi. <laughs> he loves him now. He doesn't love me anymore. You see that, KYD? This is why we need you to, so your dogs can play with our dogs. Charlie, Tucker, and Yuna. Oh, Charlie. Jen, tell, tell the world how big of a KYD fan you are. I love KYD. Like... I actually don't watch like a lot of RV channels. I just watch them because I love them so much. And I even bought- um, Do you even watch Matt's RV reviews? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just great. And like, they're really like authentic and funny and everything. And um, I've been following them for like, probably like two years. years. Yeah. yeah, probably like two years now watching their videos. And we actually, or I just bought some um, merchandise they were selling. <laughs> I, I, nice. I got like a little bean Didn't it come in recently? No, I'm still waiting for it. Well, you're gonna wear it once we meet them. Yeah. And it's gonna be Tucker, Yuna, and Charlie. Yep. That's right. How excited would you be if we got a phone call right now that they wanted to meet up? Oh my gosh. But just with Matt and I, I mean like literally, I think that Yeah, what, what about, what? Well, okay. What would you do, and make this real quick, what would you do if they wanted to collaborate, but with only with Will and myself, and you could not be there for the collaboration? I couldn't be there? At no. least, like, you're in the background? No. <laughs> what would you do? I would, would you cry? cry. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, would you cry if you got I, to meet them? I legit... Would I, you cry if you got to meet them? I probably wouldn't cry. I don't cry easily. But... Remember I, when I bought you your laptop and you didn't cry? <laughs> I would, right. I would I don't probably cry. Out cry. Of happiness stuff. Yeah. yeah would just, you hug them? Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on, guys. If anybody knows KYD, don't do it for me. Don't do it for this guy either. He doesn't do anything. Do it for Jen. <laughs> do it like, for Jen, Tucker, Yuna, and Charlie. I legit think that like they're my favorite YouTubers. Like, and Tucker wants to meet Charlie um, too. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie. But as 
Is that Charlie? Tucker, is that Charlie? <gasps> is that Charlie? Oh. Tucker wants Charlie to be his best friend. He does. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, my Patricia. <laughs>